ahead and do the preview for YouTube, right? Okay, you guys ready? Okay, so if you're watching this, this is the preview for Civ 4 AI Survivor. This is Season 3, Game 7. We have ended up with four, or not four, we've ended up with six AI leaders uh, as we normally do. This is the overview map. It is kind of like a, a long and relatively thin version of the one continent maps. I guess it blobs a little bit in the middle. And we end up with two sieves in the north, two in the middle, and two in the south. It's just kind of the way this one rolled out. So, who are our leaders? Let's go ahead and look at each one individually. We have Charlemagne of the Holy Roman Empire up here in the northwest. He's above average in terms of aggression. He's also uh, has a strong preference for religion. His personality is pretty similar to Justinian, although he has not been nearly as successful as Justinian. Just as kind of an FYI. Um, oh, it's still not up, right? Well, the game looks like it's up right now. Um, so anyway, coming over here to Wang Khan. He is the only Korean leader in this game. He has a northeast position. Uh, peaceful AI, he has a high peace weight. This might not be the greatest game for him, judging by his surroundings, but we'll see. He is infamous for being the biggest troll in the competition last year and doing things that did nothing to help him win, but just trolled the other leaders. Uh, down here, we have Tokugawa, the only Japanese leader in Civ 4. Toku is an isolationist. This generally does not work very well in Civ 4. He is widely seen as being one of the worst leaders in the game. That said, he did surprise us and make the playoffs last year, so who really knows? Uh, over here, we have Bismarck of Germany. He has an insanely good starting position with double grassland gems and uh, this dry corn. So really, really good stuff here. Oh, and I guess he has a, a banana down the road and then these silks, which become three, not silks, spices, which become three food tiles eventually. Really, really good stuff. Uh, that said, he is in the middle of the map and that can be a dangerous place to be. And there's a lot of desert over here that's somewhat undesirable. Uh, Bismarck the AI, just a quick word about him, likes to build wonders. Uh, so it may not be a good thing that there are no... Uh, no stone or marble too close. I guess he's a stone off to the east, but nothing immediately in his vicinity. Down here in the southeast, we have Mehmed of the Holy Roman, uh, not Holy Roman Empire, the Ottoman Empire. Holy Rome's up in the north. He's a fairly uninteresting AI, above average aggression, doesn't really stand out beyond that. Does have good traits in expansive organized. Um, has a lot of forests at this starting position. Kind of interesting. And then last but not least, we have Huayna Kapak. We have given him the Roman color to distinguish him from um, Charlemagne, because his default color is pretty close to that. So don't be fooled, this is not Rome. This is Inca down here, uh, the only Incan leader in the game. Huayna Kapak has been the best leader of all. He won season two, was the outright winner of the championship, and has been exceptionally strong in past years. That said, he has rolled a fairly weak starting position here. So we'll see what people think if they still want to go with past history or are swayed by the fact that this is a kind of a crummy start from a resource standpoint. Um, no happiness resources except the silk and then just this grassland cow for food. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so that's our field for this game. We will do this game uh, a week from today as I record this. It'll be on September 22nd, Friday. September 22nd at noon Eastern time. If you want to fill out an entry in the picking contest, it'll be linked underneath this video. We've been doing this for, I guess, a couple months now. You can tell we're on game seven. And it's really been a lot of fun. We had an awesome, extremely close game in game six that very narrowly was decided between two leaders and it was a total blast to watch. So I uh, hope a number of you will be able to make it. If not, we'll have the recordings up on Twitch later and the uh, write-up will be up on my website later too. So until then, hope you guys are having a good week and I will see you again soon. Have a good one. Take care. See you soon.